Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is clean my area so that it's nice and tidy and sterile for this medical supplies. I'll use a Clorox wipe to wipe down my desk, and then I can start gathering my materials. I'll put a list on the screen so you can see exactly what you need. Your material might look a little bit different than mine, as we might have different suppliers, but overall it should be pretty similar. I'm going to do is unlock my insulin pump using this button on the top and then use the screen feature to unlock it. I'm going to go to options and down to that second page where it says load and change cartridge and this will allow me to stop the deliveries so that my pump isn't trying to work while I'm changing the insulin. Next you want to make sure that you are detached from the infusion site and your pump will be ready to add a new cartridge. old cartridge out, I like to use this little trick which is to use the back of the syringe to slide into this little slot where you can press and pop out the old cartridge. After this I'm going to fill my syringe with insulin, so I'm going to pull back on the plunger so that I can fill that up with air. This way when I insert it into the vial of insulin I'm able to just flip it around and it creates a vacuum so that the insulin will fill up in the syringe without me having to pull it out. It's best to let the insulin fill up at its own speed so that we avoid getting too many air bubbles. This is the cartridge, this is where the insulin will be held within the insulin pump. And as you'll be able to see in a second, it has this little white foamy circle, there it is, um, where we will insert the tip of the needle. Before we put the insulin in, we're going to draw the air out. When we put the needle in, it's important that it only goes in halfway. You'll be able to tell that um, it won't be able to go in any further, and that's how you know you've got it in the right place. What we're going to do, we're going to pull back so that we get this air out of the cartridge. Um, and at that point, we just flick it to get that air bubble to the top and press on the plunger just a little bit to get that air bubble out. We don't want to be injecting that into our body. So again, we're going to put the needle into that foamy part, remember that space in between, and then you're going to press down on the plunger. Sometimes this can be a little bit of a restriction, but it should go in simply. If you're having trouble with it, you might want to take it out and try to reinsert the needle. This is important that it's done completely vertically, and then when you're done, you can replace the cap on the needle portion and unscrew it. That piece with the needle will need to go in sharps. The next step before moving on is just to insert the cartridge into your prepared insulin pump. You should hear a click. That click will let you know that your cartridge is fully inserted, and then you can press the unlock button and your pump should get you an affirmative message that your cartridge has been changed. So this is the insertion device. As you can see, it looks kind of scary, but it's really not that complicated. We're going to pull up on this lip here to take the top off. This is just a sterilizing piece. The next thing we're going to do is unwrap this tubing all the way. It's wound a few times, you're going to want to make sure you get it all the way and then you can slide it into this little dip which will hold that tubing in place. Then you can unwrap this paper that keeps the adhesive safe and then there is a little tube on the cannula as well and so you're going to want to carefully take that off. Sometimes you can twist it and that'll make it come off a little bit easier. When you pull back on this piece on the back, you should hear a click, and that locks your insertion device so that it's ready to be used. When you press down on these circles, your device will click, and that's how you're going to adhere the site to your skin. So you're going to want to make sure that tubing again is out of the way, and then when you insert it, it'll look like this. And then you hold these two little tabs and you can pull back and that will remove this big clunky piece from your body. 
I found that the best thing to do after this is to tuck that needle under this little open piece so that you don't accidentally poke yourself. This will also need to go in the sharps container. What's left on your body will be this infused set. Um, you can pinch the sides and release this little clip. This is the cannula. It's small and flexible and that's what's left inside your body. No metal needle. You're going to make sure you unclip from your body at this point and then twist this one piece from the tubing onto the piece from the cartridge. Make sure it's nice and tight and then go ahead and start the process of filling your tubing with insulin. This will just make sure that it's fully ready before you clip back in. This is a great time to check the tubing of your insulin pump to make sure that there's no occlusions. You can look for bubbles or kinks that might stop it from going through smoothly. And then my insulin pump um, has tubing that is 16 units long and so you'll stop at the appropriate length for your tubing. You should be able to find that on the packaging. And then your pump should detect that the insulin is there. And then the last step is just to reclip and then start filling your cannula so that that's all filled too. The last thing to do is hit resume and you are good. You have a full cartridge, full tubing, and a new insulin site.